Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Balling Craig Estate here on Farming Simulator 17. We are really low. Well, it feels like we're really low. Um, the front of the Landro was actually just jacked up a little bit and I'll show you why in a minute. You may have saw from the thumbnail and the title of this video, we have collected ourselves a brand new tractor. It's not brand new tractor. We've got ourselves a new second-hand tractor and the reason we've got it, I know a farm of this size doesn't really need three tractors is because we didn't actually have one with um, the three point on the front. So we needed to get one with the three point on the front. So we did a little bit of shopping around here in Northern Ireland and we managed to find a pretty nice one. It's pretty good condition, it's pretty gold, but it's pretty good condition. So hopefully it'll serve us well here today on the farm. Um, so yeah, we're heading back to the yard right now, somewhere along here. We need to take this a little bit wide if we can. Let's get our hazard lights on here so that people know we're gonna be making a maneuver in a second. There's actually some cars coming. So what I'm going to do is keep my hazard lights on here. We're going to wait for these cars to go past. And uh, we're going to come out onto the other side of the road and hopefully swing it in. My voice is going again. Fantastic. Hope you guys are doing well. This is the second one I've got recorded. I know it's two Balling Craigs in a... Oh, quickly, there's a car coming. I know it's two Balling Craigs in a row, but I was really enjoying what we were doing. So I thought I'd come back into this. We're going to get around this corner here. There's a... We've got no mirrors on this uh, Land Rover, well, but I believe we are through. Yes, we are. Cool. Let's take this up to the top and I'll show you what we've got. I've deliberately hit it in the thumbnail. Okay, make up this here. Call Land Rover. So, in real life, I think this Land Rover would be a little bit more sufficient. And we are officially stuck. Come on, then. You can do it. I think it's the end of the journey. Right, stop. Get it turned off. This is the end of the Land Rover's journey, unfortunately. So, let's go ahead and press X here to uh, get this unfolded. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what we've got. So we're gonna have to drive it from here, I think. But yeah, in real life, the Land Rover's, well, basically this Land Rover here is a little bit off scale. In real life, you guys know it's a bit bigger, so it looks a little bit silly, but in real life, it'd be fine. Um, so we've got ourselves, it's orange. We've got ourselves a Renault. Yes, this thing was pretty cheap. I think it was just like, um, how much was this? I think it was like 18,000 pounds. This is the Ares, I think it's called. You guys have to correct me in the comment section below. I think it's called the Renault Ares or Erez. Um, yeah, it's pretty good condition, as you can see. It's pretty good, had a good old clean. Um, it's not that powerful. It's a lot bigger than it looked. It's a lot more powerful than it looked. Wait, the other way around. It looks more powerful than it actually is. But the reason we got it is because of this three point on the front here. So this should come in handy. So we now have three tractors on the farm. So this one's going to be our big groundwork tractor, if you will. So let's go ahead and jump up into the cab, get it turned on. Now you guys can see we've got a different minimap today. That is a mod, and I don't really know how to turn it off. Uh, I want the mod because it shows us different like uh, growth states and stuff, but you can't actually hide the map, which is annoying. So if you guys know what mod that is and know how to turn it off, please let me know. Right, does this thing have IC? Okay, I've downloaded the wrong version. There is one out there with IC. Okay, no, this thing does not have IC. Okay, so I also had to fix the camera on that thing. The camera on that was broken, so I had to quickly fix that in Giant's Editor. But it seems to be working pretty fine now, so if you do find it and download it, um, you are going to have issues with the camera. I can't give my version out, unfortunately, because that's not how modding works. Right, let's get that folded back up again. So yeah, like I said, the Land Rover in real life is a lot bigger than it appears in this game. Um, it's a little bit off scale. Well, we're going to store this thing for now. We're just going to leave it in our good old field for now. Hopefully we can actually get around this bend here. Take it a bit wide. Loads of room. Loads of room. So how are you guys doing? Welcome back. So today what we're doing is carrying on from the last video. So if the, at the end of the last video, let's turn it off there, you guys saw me um, starting some mowing again, but I didn't keep it on video because we've already done some mowing. So that is now finished. That is the field. Not this one, it's the one that's just over from there. It's now finished, you can see it from here. If I just jump up a little bit. There we go. It's now finished, ready to go. We need to tell it and windrow it and stuff, but for now, it should do. So let's go ahead and jump back into the Renault. Like so. So we don't actually need this today, but seeing as it's our new tractor, we're going to use it just to test drive it, basically. Nice sounds of things. Got a nice engine. Quite quiet. There's actually a little uh, driveway here. Follow the tracks, which is where we got the Land Rover from. Bit of a bad turning circle actually on this thing. Can we make that? Then we're after a three-point turn, I think. 
perfect. So, uh, we do need to, like I say, win roll. Did we, did we win roll last time? We didn't. So today we're going to be win rowing and bailing. So we're going to have a bit of a bit of an interesting video today. So let's go ahead and collect. Actually, did we do the win rolling last time? We did do the win rolling last time. What am I talking about? So we just need to bail today. Now we are using the round bailer. Um, yeah, we did the win roll last video. I completely forgot. It was only yesterday as well that I recorded that. So we need to collect the round bailer, and this is going to be interesting because we're doing this on the hill and we've got round bales. So uh, my buddy VF said I should try bailing sideways, so I unload sideways. Um, once again, no IC on this. We're now stood on top of the massive. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. I don't think the bells can go through the uh, the hedge. There's no PTO shaft on this thing. No idea what's going on there. There we go. Hopefully that's fixed it. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we get on. This is a round bailer, obviously. So hopefully they don't roll in. Uh, roll. They don't roll into the road. Free. I like this tractor. It's a little bit. The texture's a little bit flat. I will admit the textures inside are a little bit flat, but it's pretty good. All the other Reynolds I've seen have been a hot mess. There's a tractor we were using last time. I forgot to bring it out. Um, I was meant to be doing that at the start of the video, but then I decided, you know what, I'm going to buy a new tractor. So I'm going to hope you guys are well. Still not back in Bristol. Currently, you're watching this. So I'm recording it in Bristol, but by the time this goes out, I'll still probably still be in Plymouth, um, waiting for my car. For those of you who didn't see the last video, I am stranded. In Plymouth, which is annoying because my car is broken. But I don't think this thing's got a PTO. That's kind of an issue. I'll fix that for the next video. I'll uh, put the nodes and stuff in for the next video. All right, let's go ahead and get this turned on. Lower it down. So yeah, for the next video, I'll fix the PTO. It looks like it doesn't have one. It's probably missing a node, or it's somewhere random, like underneath us, which is a bit weird. This thing's probably going to fill up pretty quick. So we keep an eye on the, uh, the loading down the bottom there. Pretty smooth at driving them. Pretty smooth tractor. I think we'll use the Massey for wrapping, possibly. Um, which is the one with the front? I think it's the new Holland that's the front loader. We'll have to use that at some point. Are we full yet? Nope. 99. Cool. Let's get it unloaded. Like so. Stop. Don't roll anywhere. Good boy. So yeah, for those of you who don't know, the way the bales work, if you stop them from rolling, sometimes they'll stop. Not all the time, but if you do that, sometimes they don't roll away. Um, or like VF said, you can do it sideways, but a bit of a pain to manoeuvre yourself sideways every time. So here's my... This is what I think Giant should do with uh, the bales. Let me just unload this one more time. That fit up pretty quick. The headland swap is, of course, bigger than the actual uh, length, because it's like two or three rows in one. We're not going to be able to stop this one here now. That's going to roll straight down the hill. Ready? Right, let's see if it goes through the hedge. Hopefully not. Nope. Okay, the cat will the hedge. Good to know. So I think we probably will unload to the side next time, which is what I've seen tractors do in real life. They sort of reverse a little bit so the bale is sideways, but it's farm zip. Who knows? As I was saying, so do you know the tyres on 5 Sim 17 are squished? Like, when you've got a load on, probably won't do that on the Fiat. They squish. I think it'd be cool if the bales did that. So when you drop the bale, the bottom of it's flat, sort of thing. Dynamic. Okay. Um, let's try this. Let's try this. Hopefully we don't make a huge mess of this. Let's go ahead and turn the baler like this. Try it with a jackknife. A little bit like that. Is it going to roll away still? Probably still going to roll away. Yep. That made no difference whatsoever. Oh, we're in the wrong gear, simulate. Ooh. Yes. This has made it more awkward, if anything. It's gone into the middle of the swap. So I don't think we're going to do that next time. It's worth a try. Yeah, let so we get our four-wheel drive on here. So once again, if you do have any requests for this series, do let me know. We still got to do some uh, crop harvesting, but I'm not in a rush because I think we have to do that on um, the other map as well, which name I completely forgot. Meadow Grove, that's the one. We still have to do some uh, harvesting on Meadow Grove, and that's not a grass map, so I'm thinking we're going to prioritise that one in terms of crop. Or cereal crops, as I like to call them. I'm just going to let it roll away. Kind of actually convenient to throw it over the bottom of the field because it means we haven't got searching for them. 
these are staying hay for those of you that have not seen any of the previous videos. Um, this is going to be our hay. We need some silage, of course, but we do have a few silage bales that we started off with. Stop. There we go. What button's it? There we go. I just used it. Right. So I'm going to crack on a little bit more with this, and I'll catch you guys in a second when we're ready to do some uh, some wrapping. Right, Curdy, so we have now finished baling this whole field. There's a couple of, couple of scrag ends left. I'm just reset the head tracking now. Turned it off because we were in third person. Um, so now we're pretty much done with this. So we need to go ahead and jump into the Fiat right now because if I was going to leave the... Uh, um, actually, no, we're we are going to take this back. But I'm going to leave the baler here. Now, the reason for that is because we need to do it again on the next field. And, uh, I'll probably get off camera, but... Um, yeah, the stuff is like wrong with this fear. I'll have to fix it. Uh, Random, sorry. I'll have to fix this uh, after the video. That could be my project while I'm in Plymouth. See if I can get this thing up and running perfectly, so. Man, yeah, I might even release it. Who knows? And then let's push around this tree here. So, what do we need? We need the wrapper, and then we also need the fear to collect the. Um, to collect the front loader so we can actually collect the bearers. That's the plan. Need to move this land over out of the way, don't we? Jump out a minute. Um, that trailer, the land rover is so small. It's not like that in real life. For those you've never seen, like maybe you're not from the UK, uh, or maybe you North American. These are quite rare up there, I believe. These are a lot bigger than this in real life. I'm not really sure why they're so small in this game, but there we go. Let's right, jump in to the Renault. The wrapper, I believe, is just parked just around here. There it is. Ready to go. We've got the pink wrap on it today. I think it's pink anyway. It might change once it's uh, actually up and running, but I'm pretty sure it's pink. There we go. Let's get that hooked up. Take her out. There's the front loader. Nice positioned, ready to go. Uh, of course, we just saw the Fiat a minute ago. That is with the mower attached to the back, just off to our left there. I think that's the front loader. It's been a while. I've been away for three weeks. I can't remember if it's that or the Massey Ferguson. That's the front loader, but I'm pretty sure it's the uh, the Fiat or New Holland. Let's get four-wheel drive off here. We don't need that. It's going to park right in the way, but I'm not being squeezed past it like this. Now I want to go quite flat. I think go somewhere quite flat because this is obviously a hilly. Um, Field. So if we go quite flat, they're not going to roll off down the hill, which is pretty cool. Alright, we're going to leave the tractor on, obviously. Uh, do you have to unfold this thing? Yes, there we go. And that should do it. Now we could technically... Oh, I just realised something. We don't need the, the, uh, the Fiat. This is not the... Uh, this is the trail one. What am I thinking? I, asked it, I usually get the one that goes onto the three point. I just realised with this one here, we can just do this, don't we? Look at this, Let's see if we can get it the first time, perfect. So yeah, we don't actually need the uh, the New Holland. I might get the New Holland anyway in a second to get the ones from down there and bring them up here. Um, that's what we're going to do actually. So whilst that's wrapping there, let's go ahead and, I'll well, leave this here for now. Let's get this unfolded a second. There's the, uh, the door here, let's get that open. That lowered yet? No, that's the wrong button. There we go. Cool, right, let's get the three point off. That disconnected because we are coming back to this field in a second. Cool, let's leave the door open. It's not sticking out too much. It's actually a pretty small door. Let's go this way. Oh gosh, a bit of frame drop there. So yeah, the plan is I'm going to be getting the ones from the bottom of the field and taking them to the Renault as opposed to just driving around with the Renault because, like I said, I don't want to be driving into hedges, basically. It's going to be pretty impossible, so... Let's go ahead and attach this one on here like that. I believe the bale... We could use the bale fork, actually, with this because we're not wrapping them just... <gasps> Simulator's had a brain fart! Simulator's had a brain fart! Okay, so we're back in the, uh, the Renault now. I just realised this is hay bales. We're not wrapping these. So 
we've got one pink silage bell. Now that could be our lucky silage bell. We don't need this wrapper. This is, um... Oh dear. No, we're not using this. <laughs> oh dear. Let me, go, let me go pack this away. And I'll catch up with you guys in a second. What an idiot. Okay, ready. So, uh, sorry about that. It is currently... What is it? It's currently 26 degrees in here. So, yeah. My brain's not work working uh, very well today. So I don't know why we started wrapping that. We don't need to. But we need to stop here real quick. Like so. Let's jump out. Because we need to collect this thing. Now, this is obviously the workshop. However, this map has a twist. If you've played it, we can actually pick the whole workshop up. Oh gosh, not like that. Not like that, simply. Not at all. Let's pick that up and we'll plop that around here somewhere. I didn't mean to flip it over. Is that still going to work? Let's go to here. Yeah, we go. Customize. So we want to put the bail wedge on here, which is going to cost us £570. Not really an issue. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. There we go. So now we have the bail wedge on that. Do we have to reconnect it? Yes, we do. Cool. So that's now ready to go. We can now put bales on there without them rolling off to the back. So yeah, I need to prepare that uh Actually, I think that's Farmer Andy's toolbox, which it should reset after. Hopefully. Hopefully being the keyword. Right, so we take this up to the field. So this is what we were meant to be doing originally. Not really sure why I started wrapping, like I said. It is really hot in here, so my brain's not working properly. So we still want to go onto the flat area where we were. I'm not really sure what we're going to do with that pink bell. We'll probably just put it with the white ones. And then we've got an extra silage bell for when it eventually uh, ferments. Right, there we go. Let's go ahead and get the Fiat, which is here, ready to go. So we've removed the pallet fork. Let's go ahead and connect this if we can. Where is it? Where are you? There you are. Oh, I'll watch the bail handler. It's a bit of a tight yard. I understand why uh, Rim Dave said it was too small. <coughs> but I like it. I like the yards like this. That's why I like Nainswell so much, if you guys remember Nainswell. This way, make sure we don't hit that tree. That'd be awkward. Alright, so now we can start loading up these bales. So the loading was going to be a completely different episode, but I'm not just going to do a whole video of me bailing, because that's boring. So let's go ahead and pick these up. Now I am going to do them one by one, because farm sim bale physics, y'all. Um, now for the one, this is like the first time since Chellington that we've not used the uh, curve fab, because we're using round bales. You can use the curve fab with round bales, I just thought we'd have a change, basically. Let's go ahead and get that in like that. Good stuff. A little bit off-centre, but that's not really an issue, because we're going to be putting it at the front of the trailer anyway. Plop him down like that. Stay there. That is not what I wanted you to do. Whatever, you don't know. <laughs> uh, looks like we're starting from the back. Luckily, we are going to fill the trailer anyway, so it's not going to matter too much. Um, right, let's get you lower down like that. So, for those of you that are new to the channel, I sort of forget to talk when I'm doing uh, bail handling because it's such a touchy. Such a touchy job that um, I get my concentration face on and just forget to talk. So I do apologise if I do go a bit quiet for a couple of seconds. There we go, another one. So, looks like we're starting from the back, which is not something you do in real life, guys. So, if you ever load a new trailer in real life, no one's ever told you, always load from the front. Put all the weight on the hitch if possible, which you're just gonna start skating down the road, basically. Straighten that up a little bit. So, please don't roll to the front of the uh, trailer. No, my luck, that's what's going to happen here. I think we're on perfectly, actually. Let's go ahead and scooch them on a little bit. Go into reverse. And we're free. So, I'm going to put the strap on for that. Just so it doesn't roll away. I'm going to try to. Not that it can roll away, but you know what I mean. Where's the next one? Let's go ahead and put this one on here. So, 
I know we've already done a bit of a time lapse today, but there's only so much bell hand you guys can watch me do. So there's going to be two time lapses in this uh, video. So sit back, enjoy, grab yourself a drink, and I'll see you guys when we've loaded a little bit more. So we have now finished loading up that um, trailer full of our hay bales and we're about to sort out that one side bale. So obviously I can't stab the uh, side bale or pierce the side bale because um, they won't ferment properly. So what we need to do is if it will let us... Why well, can't I pick this up? There we go, it sort of glitched through the ground a little bit. Never mind. So we're going to take this thing here and we're going to pick up the uh, the one the one size bell that we accidentally wrapped, which is now pink. So we're going to call that the, uh, the lucky pink bell. We'll save that one to last probably, but we're going to have to because it's got a ferment. Um, so yeah, it saves us switching out the forks because we're going to be needing these forks again shortly. I think the crop a little bit here. We need to harvest this as soon as possible, I think. So I think I'm going to put it back into a cereal field because it's the only way we've got the only uh, field we've got to get straw apart from one other, which is down there a little bit. There it is. See it from here. So there's the uh, the trailer. There's a bit of grass there, I missed. The trailer will load up. It's a little bit wonky, but um, you know, I'm not an expert by all means. Right, what's the best way to do this? Let's go ahead and go this side of the bale here. Do this in third person so you guys can see. Okay, that's the wrong gear simulator. Well done. Lower this down. This handle. What are these actually called? I call them handles. What's the actual name for them? I might be right, but you know, who knows? Let's scoot ourselves into there right there. Perfect. Kind of a little bit wonky, but we're only going to the field. Let's go ahead and whack that onto there, just so it doesn't run away. And we are now done. So let's go ahead, reach into here, and it will turn the fear off. And um, we'll take these into the yard, basically. That's why we didn't want to change the fork out, because now we've got to unload these again. This is not an auto-loading trailer, so I have to do it manually, which is a little bit annoying, but no it's farm sim. We have to do it as realistically as possible. So there we go. There's a huge gap here as well. I think I'm on slightly on the hill because they kept rolling down when I was loading them up. Um, these top ones are very wonky, but that will do for now. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and take these to the yard. So thank you very, very much for joining me in this episode. If you did enjoy, please tap a thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.